a witch. Ooh. Peppa, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog and Freddy Fox <laughs> are dressing up to play a game. I'm going to be a brave knight. I'm going to be a wizard. I'm going to be a footballer. Hooray! <laughs> now we can go on an adventure. <laughs> Peppa is imagining George is a goblin. Let's pretend we have to rescue Teddy from that goblin. <gasps> yes! That's George, Peppa. We're just <laughs> pretending, Freddy. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's the goblin and Teddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig is fast asleep. Let's pretend Daddy is a sleeping dragon. Shh. And let's pretend the living room is a cave. Ooh. <laughs> Follow me. We have to be quiet so we don't wake the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I must have dozed off. Now we have to save Teddy from that big castle. We'll use magic to rescue Teddy. And I'll use my football. Hello, little goblin. We're here to rescue Teddy. George doesn't want to be a goblin. Oh, do you want to help us rescue Teddy instead? <laughs> but if George isn't a goblin, then who has Teddy? Dinosaur! Now, everyone is pretending that the dinosaur has Teddy. Teddy has been rescued by the witch, the wizard, the brave knight, a footballer and George, who is not a goblin. Surfing! Peppa is on holiday at Kylie Kangaroo's house. What are we going to do today, Kylie? We're going to the beach. Yippee! I love the beach! <laughs> Everybody ready? Yeah! Then let's go! <laughs> this is the beach. Wow! Look at the sea! And the waves! <laughs> yeah! You'll need life vests for the water. <laughs> Dad, are we good to go surfing now? You're all good. What is that? It's a surfboard. What do you do with it? You lie on it and the waves push you along. Ooh. Come on, Peppa, I'll teach you. <laughs> it's easy to float because the board is super floaty. <laughs> the tricky bit is catching the wave. Ready, steady, now, Peppa. Kylie is being carried along by a wave. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> George wants to go surfing. Sorry, George, you're a bit too little to go surfing. Oh, the waves are getting too big for Pepper and Carly. Oh, 
Is it time to go home? Are you kidding? These waves are perfect for grown-ups to surf. Surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr. Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Oh, the waves have gone. Too bad, Mr. Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Oh, that's a shame. But it's just right for little George to go paddling in. <laughs> I'll come with you, George. <laughs> no surfing, George, but you can sit on me instead. George likes sitting on top of Daddy Pig. <laughs> Look at that wave coming! Crikey, it's a big one. Daddy, there's a big wave coming! Wave! wave. 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 What's that? Wave! Wave! wave. 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 <laughs> I think they want us to wave, George. Cooey! <laughs> Cooey! George is using Daddy Pig as a surfboard. <laughs> wow, George has got great balance. <laughs> Hooray! You're a natural surfer, George. Maybe you can teach me a few tricks. <laughs> George is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Surfing, Mummy. Yes, what a fantastic holiday we're having. So, what's planned for tomorrow? Are you, uh, staying another day? I could stay here forever. Well, I do have to go to work tomorrow. They can come along too. Mm, OK. Well, I suppose that might be great. <laughs> Pepper is having a lovely long holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Pedro is late. Peppa's playgroup are going on a trip to the museum. Oh, dear. Pedro Pony is not here. I bet he's still in his pyjamas. Pedro is asleep in his little bed. Pedro likes sleeping. Pedro, wake up. You'll be late for the school trip. <sighs> OK, Mummy. Come on, Pedro. We don't want to miss the bus. <sighs> The bus is still waiting for Pedro Pony. We can't wait any longer. The museum will be closed. OK, let's go. <laughs> oh, there's no one here. Maybe we're early. No, Pedro, we've missed the bus. Oh, come on, let's catch them up. <laughs> Pedro is always late. Look! There's a car chasing us. Oh, hello, Mrs Pony. Stop the bus! Pedro is here! <laughs> Sorry, Madame Gazelle. I overslept. Oh, Pedro, you do like sleeping. <sighs> yes, Madame Gazelle. To the museum. <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. Uh, Madame Gazelle, I need the toilet. And me. And me. Me too. This is Grandad Dog's garage. <laughs> what will it be? Petrol or diesel? <laughs> toilet, please. <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't like any petrol? No, we haven't gone anywhere yet. <laughs> <laughs> right, next stop, the museum. Um... Where is Pedro? <laughs> Petrol pumps. Interesting. Oh, come along, Pedro. Bye. I hope we get to the museum before it closes. Here is the museum. Mr Rabbit is locking up for the day. Hello, Mr Rabbit. We would like to see the museum, please. Hmm. 
We were just closing, but I can give you a quick tour. This is the king and queen's room, full of old stuff. Ooh. Hmm, interesting. Here are the giant dinosaurs, all very nice. Ah, amazing. Space, rockets, and all that. Wow! And through this door is the most amazing place of all. It's the fantastic world you live in. Oh, thank you, Mr Rabbit. My pleasure. Goodbye. Right, time to go, children. Where is Pedro? Oh, Pedro! A mollusk. Very interesting. Come on, Pedro, or you'll miss the bus. Where is everybody? The bus has gone. Uh, don't worry. Miss Rabbit will realise she's left us behind. Bong, green, blue. Bing, bong, bing. Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, 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 All together now. Bong, bing, Nobody has noticed Madame bong, Gazelle and Pedro are missing. Bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, bing. Oh, have you missed the bus? Mr. Rabbit, I am a teacher. I need your car. Come on, Petro. We'll take a shortcut. Hello, Dots. <laughs> Madame Gazelle and Pedro have arrived back at the playgroup. Where is the bus? Maybe we're early. Yes, Pedro. For once, you are early. Wow. Pedro is early. Yes, and you're late, you slow coaches. <laughs> Pedro likes being early. Everybody likes being early. <laughs> the noisy night. Peppa's family are having a sleepover at Cousin Chloe's house. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. You must be tired after your long journey. Yes, an early night would be nice. First, we'll put baby Alexander to bed. <laughs> this is baby Alexander's bedroom. <laughs> Alexander likes noise. It sends him to sleep. <laughs> we like noise in this house. We're a noisy family. Peppa, George, you're staying in my room tonight. Oh, goody. <laughs> Peppa and George are excited to be sleeping in Cousin Chloe's bedroom. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Night, night. Everyone is tucked up in their beds, asleep. <coughs> Baby Alexander is awake. <coughs> Peppa and George are awake. What's that noise? It's the vacuum cleaner. Um, why are you vacuuming at night? We're not disturbing you, are we? What? Oh, no! <coughs> we found noise is the best way to get baby Alexander back to sleep. <coughs> he likes noise. We're a noisy family. <coughs> Everyone is back in their beds, asleep. Baby Alexander is awake. Why is Auntie Kate playing a trumpet? To get Alexander to sleep. The more noise, the better. Is there another way that doesn't use noise? We do find noise is the best way. When George was a baby, we used to put him in his pram and wheel him around the house. And that always sent him to sleep. How strange. No loud noises. That's right. How many times round the house was it, Mummy Pig? Three times? Fifty times. <sighs> Daddy Pig is pushing baby Alexander around the house. Fifty times. <sighs> Good. Baby Alexander is asleep. Can you let me back in? I'll just switch the alarm off. Switch the alarm back on. 
Peppa, what are you doing up? I can't sleep, Daddy. It's a noisy night. OK, Peppa. Let's get you back to bed. Now, which bedroom are you staying in? Stop, Daddy. That's baby Alexander's room. Ah. Oh. <laughs> the light has woken baby Alexander. It's all right. I've got the vacuum cleaner. I've got the trumpet. Stop. Stop. I remember another quiet way we used to get George to sleep. Oh, yes. We drove him around in the car. I'll get the car started. Don't forget the alarm! Daddy Pig has set off the noisy house alarm. The noisy house has woken everyone up. It's Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Alexander to sleep. He's really fast asleep now. Oh, thanks to my noisy daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. We should have you to stay more often. <laughs> <laughs> Spiderweb. Daddy Pig is hard at work in the study. Daddy Pig, this study is a complete mess. It's not that bad. There are lots of cobwebs. I love cobwebs. They give the room character. Cobwebs mean spiders, and I don't like spiders. I do. Spiders catch flies, and flies are horrid. Well, as long as I don't have to see a spider. <coughs> ah! A spider! Hello, Mr Skinny Legs. <laughs> oh. Where have you gone? Find it. I don't want it in the house. Everyone is looking for Mr Skinny Legs. Mr Skinny Legs is not in the filing cabinet. Oh. Mr Skinny Legs is not under the chair. Oh. Mr Skinny Legs is not on the table. Oh. I wonder where Mr Skinny Legs is. Ah! Oh, ho! Oh. It sounds like Mummy has found him. Don't be scared, Mummy. Get rid of it. OK. We'll take Mr Skinny Legs into the garden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now Mr Skinny Legs has got the whole garden to play in. Bye-bye, Mr Skinny Legs. It is starting to rain. <laughs> Mr Skinny Legs is running back to the house. Maybe he doesn't like the rain. He's climbing up the water spout. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Mr Skinny Legs in the house, Daddy Pig. Let's take Mr Skinny Legs a bit further into the garden. There we are. A nice tree for you to live in. <laughs> what is he doing? He's making a web, Peppa. Spiders live in webs and use them to catch flies. Oh. He's very busy. Yes. It's hard work building a web. That's why you must never, ever break one. If you do, the spider has to do all the work again. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> Bye-bye, Mr Skinny Legs. It is bedtime. I liked watching Mr Skinny Legs make his web today. And tomorrow he'll make another web. Really? Yes. Mr Skinny Legs makes a new web every day. Where will the new web be, Daddy? I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Good night. Night-night. <laughs> It is morning. Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. I don't want to be late. I have an important meeting at the office. Daddy, 
You work very hard. Yes, I do. But not as hard as Mr. Skinny Legs. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> everyone. See you tonight. Stop, Daddy. What is it? You cannot drive the car today. Why not? Look. Mr. Skinny Legs has built a web, joining the car to the house. <laughs> Daddy. You said you must never, ever break a web. Did I? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. If you move the car, you will break the web. But how am I going to get to work? Don't worry, Daddy. You can borrow my little bicycle. Here you are. Thank you, Peppa. Daddy Pig is riding Peppa's little bicycle. I will, Peppa. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Daddy Pig works very hard. <sighs> but Mr. Skinny Legs works even harder. <laughs> gym class. Peppa and her friends are going to the gym today. Let's check you've all got your gym kits on. Pedro is wearing a superhero costume. Pedro, where is your gym kit? It's at home. I thought it was dressing up day. Follow me, children. This is the gym where mummies and daddies come to exercise and enjoy themselves. Are you all having fun? Yes, yes lots, lots of fun. fun. Your gym teacher for today is Grumpy Rabbit. Where is he? Hello, children. Are you ready to exercise? Yes, Grumpy Rabbit. Ah, 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 ah. Do we have to do that? No, that's only for big athletes like me. Uh, not for little explorers like you. We're not explorers. I'll make explorers of you, but you... You look like a superhero. Uh, it's just pretend. Pretending? That's good. Right, let's warm up. Everyone, run on the spot. <laughs> and clap your arms. <laughs> now, stretch. Stretch. Wobble like a jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Rest. Now we're all warmed up, we can start. Start what? Your adventure. I want you to pretend that this room is a jungle. It doesn't look like a jungle. Where are the trees? You have to imagine it. The trees, the rain, the fast-flowing river at your feet. Your first adventure is to walk on this beam across the river. That's easy. Ah, but it's night time and it's windy. <sighs> what? That's how it was for me. It was a dark and stormy night. I was on an adventure. Ready? <laughs> but it's not windy or night time. You have to pretend. <sighs> Everyone crosses the Pretend River safely. Hooray! Well done, my little explorers! What's next, Grumpy Rabbit? Your next adventure is to swing across this swamp full of crocodiles. Ah! I can't see any crocodiles. You've got to pretend. Let those crocodiles know who's boss. Go away, you naughty crocodiles. That's the spirit. Did you ever swing across a crocodile swamp? Of course I did. Were you scared? Not as scared as they were of me. <laughs> Ready? Don't forget to do the call. Ah! Everyone has crossed the pretend crocodile swamp safely. Well done! What's our next adventure? This is a vault. Big athletes jump over it like this. <laughs> but you can pretend it's a dinosaur and crawl through its legs. Have you crawled through a dinosaur's legs, Grampy Rabbit? Oh, yes. 
Once, I was walking in the jungle when I stumbled into a lost world of dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it! You've made it out of the jungle! Hooray! Aho! Uh -huh. Did you have a good gym class, children? Yes, Madam Gazelle. They're real little explorers now. We walked across a river. And we swung over crocodiles. And we crawled under a dinosaur. I love doing gym class with Grumpy Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig's chickens. Pepper and George are having a sleepover at Granny and Grandpa's house. Granny Pig! Gangy Ig! Hello, my little ones. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye, Mummy. <coughs> Come and see where you're going to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this was Mummy Pig's room when she was a little piggy. In olden times. And this is the bed Mummy slept on. Ooh, bouncy bed. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like your mummy when she was little. Did mummy bounce on the bed? Of course. But mummy tells us not to bounce on the bed. When mummy was a little piggy, she was cheeky, just like you. Was she? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's go and see Grandpa Pig in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig! Grandpa Pig! Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Come and see my carrots. Grandpa Pig is very proud of his vegetables. Ooh. And here are my peas. Oh. But best of all are my lettuces. Oh, no! My lettuces! I think the birds have eaten them, Grandpa. Yes, birds. Why didn't Mr Scarecrow scare them away? Because the birds that ate my lettuces are very stupid. What's the matter, Grandpa Pig? Your friends have been eating my vegetables again. Which friends? Tom, Dick and Harry. <laughs> Those aren't their names. Granny Pig has chickens. Wow! Say hello to Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Hello. <laughs> and here is Neville. <coughs> is Neville a boy chicken? Yes, Peppa. He's a cockerel. He's the worst. Scratching up my vegetables. Neville wouldn't hurt a fly. I've seen him eat flies. <coughs> and he ate my lettuce. You don't want to eat Grandpa's lettuce, do you? <coughs> Not when there's lovely corn to eat. <coughs> Come on, this way home. <coughs> Peppa, George, would you like to feed corn to the chickens? Yes, please, Granny. <coughs> Here you are, chickens. Eat up. <coughs> Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh! It is bedtime for Pepper and George at Granny and Grandpa's house. <laughs> <laughs> Have the chickens laid their eggs yet, Granny? Maybe in the morning, Peppa. How will we know when it's morning? Neville will tell us. Now, go to sleep. Night, night. It is morning. It's Neville! <laughs> Thank you for waking us up, Neville. <laughs> Good morning, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Do you have any eggs for us? One, two, three, four! Four eggs, Granny! Now we'll have eggs for breakfast. Thank you, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Boiled eggs for everyone. Hooray! Mmm, delicious. <coughs> Good 
Granny, your chickens make yummy eggs. Yes, it's all that lovely corn they eat. And my lettuces. <laughs> 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 <laughs>